Now I'd like for us to look at our open chords. There are two types of chords in a physical sense that we make on a guitar. One, the open chord that we're going to look at now, juxtaposed to what's called a bar chord. Open chords have the bar provided with the nut of the guitar. But a bar chord, we literally take the place of the nut by using our first finger and bring the open chords of the neck by barring, hence those are called bar chords, and we'll get into those in the coming lessons. But for our open chords, I want us to start, especially if you're a beginner, with um, kind of our primary colors, I like to say. The E, E minor, E7, the A, A minor, A7, and the D, D minor, and D7. Our E chord gets its name, or its root, from the E string. Okay, this first one was an E major, E minor, E7. Then our next set of chords are our A chords. A major, A minor, and A7. And they get their name or their root from the A string. And then we have our D, D minor, and D7. And the D chord gets its name or the root from the D string. Now when you listen to these chords major, and if it just says E with nothing else attached like any other symbols, that's assuming that it's a major chord. If it's anything else, it'll let you know. But major chords are kind of happy sounding, juxtaposed to a minor chord, which is sad sounding, or in a movie it might be the scary part. And then this would be a dominant seventh, or its nickname just a seventh chord. So I want you to be sure to listen to the personality types. Majors, minors, and sevenths. Major, minor, and seventh. And major, minor, and seventh. Okay, on our next page, a more expanded version where there's more chords listed. And I've included on this page all of the practical open chords for you to begin learning. E, E minor, E7, E minor 7. And all of the E chords get their name or their root from the E string. Now for our A's. A, and make sure that you get as close to the fret as possible. You're just going to have to squeeze your fingers in. Uh, this first finger isn't going to be able to get nearly as close to the fret as your third finger. So there's your A, A minor, A7, A minor 7, and A major 7. If there's an X above a string, that means that string is not included in the chord, so don't play it. An O above a string shows that it's open. Our D chord gets its name or its root from the D string. So here's a D, D minor, D7, D minor 7, and D major 7. C chord, and this is a C note, so that's the root of your C chord. C7, C major 7. Here's a chord, C add 9. I just threw that in. Here's a B7. That's a B note, 
so that names your B chord, it's its root. Now here's a G chord. You can make your G chord this way or with all four fingers. Either way. And this is a G note, so that's its root. Then here's a G7. Notice some of these chords, I don't have a minor version. There's not a good way to play a minor version or sometimes a dominant seventh version of some of these chords, or for, in, in the case of the B, even a major or a minor, because you'd have to bar. And so this is all about open chords of what's possible to play down here easily, that sounds good, uh, that's a pretty full representation of the chord that also does not require a bar. Okay? And um, our F chord. That's an F note that names the F chord. F major 7. Okay? So, review these. Make sure that you're listening for the major, the minor, the 7th sound. Uh, major 7ths and minor 7ths, th those will come. I put those on this page um, because I wanted to put every basic chord that you could play without using a bar down here as a point of reference.